Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure places you right in the Marvel Universe. Campus is actually an acronym for Centralized Assembly, Mobilized to Prepare, Unite, and Safeguard. Avengers Campus opened in June of 2021, and although the land may be smaller in size, there is still a lot to take in. From Disney history to Marvel Easter eggs, the land is jam-packed with so much to discover. So sit back as we explore the top 10 hidden secrets and Easter eggs in Avengers Campus. Number 10. The backstory of Avengers Campus is that it was built on the former site of the Stark Industries complex. Tony Stark then took it over from his father Howard and turned it into a place for the Avengers to assemble. When he did this, a lot of industrial elements were left in place, like this yellow crane which can be found at the land's entrance from Cars Land. It fits in with the whole industrial look of the campus, but really it's a leftover relic from when this used to be a Bugs Land. This was actually a maintenance crane used to lift the Heimlich ride vehicle off and on the track. It was never in guest view and was backstage. On the main column, you'll see it says H105. I'm pretty sure the H stands for Heimlich, but in terms of the 105, I'm a little stumped. What do you think it could mean? Heimlich's choo-choo train became a pretty iconic ride, and although he's no longer hanging out at DCA, he can still be found in Disney Emoji Blitz. I just want to say a big thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. You can download Disney Emoji Blitz for free using the link in the description. I'll be giving away some more Disney gift cards, so stay tuned for that. Now, Disney Emoji Blitz is not your typical Match 3 game, since 1. You get to play with these adorable Disney emojis, and 2. There are dozens of emojis to collect. The best part is that each of them has their own unique power-ups. This is honestly my favorite mobile game. You can really strategize by choosing the best emoji to use in each game to maximize your points scored. My favorite emoji to use right now would actually have to be Heimlich. When he powers up, you need to feed him, and it's just really fun. Now, new emojis are being added every week from Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars IPs, with tons of characters to collect in different categories, like silver, gold, rainbow, and even story and villain emojis. And to top it all off, the emojis you earn in the game can be used in text conversations with your friends. I mean, how cute is that? Use my exclusive link below to download the game for free. The link acts as sort of a creator code, so anything you do spend in the game helps support me and the channel. Now, I'm doing a little sweepstakes where you have the chance to win one of three $25 Disney gift cards. All you need to do is download the game using the link below, screenshot yourself getting to level 20 in the game if you're a new user, or if you've played before, screenshot your current level plus a score over 1 million, then tweet me at TPM videos. And if we get over 600 downloads, I'll throw in another Disney gift card. I'll be choosing the winners on March 18th and we'll announce them on Twitter. Thanks again to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring the video, and now let's continue on to number 9. As you walk into Avengers Campus, you'll pass this graffiti wall which was actually tagged by Miles Morales. He becomes Spider-Man in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's a cool little easter egg. And as you walk past the graffiti wall, you'll approach a set of three trees. It's pretty obvious that the one in the center is much larger than the other two beside it. Well, if we move up closer, there's a spout dripping with a green substance. Above it, it reads caution, gamma radiation. Well, gamma radiation is what Bruce Banner absorbs, transforming him into the Hulk. And it looks like the radiation had the same effect on this tree. I mean, that trunk is massive. It's really a Hulk tree. Now, aside from the tree, the Hulk doesn't have a huge presence in the land, but if you head to the Shawarma Palace stand, you could find a couple of tributes to him that could be found on the cart. Number 8. Now, Avengers Campus might be in Disney California Adventure, but there are a couple references made to Disneyland's opening day in 1955. The first one can be found on these Stark Motors billboards along the walkway from Cars Land into Avengers Campus. They're advertising Howard Stark's hover car, which was introduced in Captain America during the Stark Expo of 1943. 
Clearly, it's not 1943 on the billboards, and instead, it's 1955, Disneyland's opening year. Then as you enter the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, home to Web Slingers A Spider-Man Adventure, you'll find these posters, again advertising Stark 55's hover car. Then once you're out of the pre-show and down the hallway, you'll approach a vintage map of the Stark Motors facility. The bottom of the map lets us know it got its final approval on July 17, 1955, Disneyland's opening day. The map also references the Utilidors, which are what the underground tunnels at Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World are called. I just love all these hidden Disney details. Number 7 On the wall near the Hulk tree, you'll find some other remnants of the land's past life as Stark Industries. Left behind are old parking signs that belong to Tony's dad Howard Stark, Edwin Jarvis Howard's butler, and Peggy Carter also has one on the other side. Now if you turn the corner to the exit of Web Slingers, above the doorway there's a yellow sign. Stuck to this delivery sign is a sticker for Lucky Dog's Pizza. This is actually a reference to Lucky the Pizza Dog from the Hawkeye comics. In the universe of Avengers Campus, Lucky became the mascot of the local pizza joint, and there's a good chance it's Peter Parker's favorite pizza. In the pre-show for Web Slingers, you'll find some Lucky Dog's pizza boxes on top of the tool cabinet. I don't know about you, but now I'm craving pizza. Anyone else? Number 6 Let's stay here inside the pre-show because there are a lot of easter eggs to unpack from Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm. Pretty much every company Disney owns. So to start off, as soon as you enter, you'll notice a lamp on the desk. And this is a little reference to Luxo Jr., the Pixar lamp. And instead of a ball, he's looking at the spider pot. At the top of this shelf, there's a Death Star Lego set. And this calls back to that little scene with Ned from Spider-Man Homecoming. To the left, you'll also see a claw machine. And this has a bunch of goodies. The Web Slinger's show building used to be It's Tough to Be a Bug, so hidden in the claw machine are a pair of Bug Eye 3D glasses. There's also Baymax from Big Hero 6, along with some Marvel Funko Pops which are different in each of the pre-show rooms. My favorite item has to be the green alien from Toy Story. I mean, it's the most fitting easter egg to be hidden in a claw machine. Now, usually Walt Disney Imagineering always leaves a tribute to Imagineering itself, and Web Slinger's is no different. Sitting in this toolbox, there's what appears to be a can of WD-40. Each of the pre-show rooms actually has a couple of these cans, and they actually say WDI-1401. It stands for Walt Disney Imagineering, and 1401 is the address of Imagineering at 1401 Flower Street in Glendale, California. Number 5 so remember how at the end of Iron Man 3, Tony Stark left Harley Keener the Mark II version of the potato gun? Well, in addition to Peter Parker, Harley Keener is one of the other inventors working at Webb. So if you look at the desk in the pre-show, you'll see Harley is working on his potato gun. But then there's a sticky note on the desk with some funny potato puns with well-known Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel characters. You got Spud Lightyear, Darth Tater, and Sputterman. C3 Potato was also a good one too. Then after you pick up your web vision glasses and head down the hallway, there's this sign on the left-hand side. I'm assuming at one point, potato gun malfunctions were a common problem around the lab. It appears Harley got at least one gun created though, because if you go into the web suppliers, there's a potato gun displayed on top of the shelf. Number 4 Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout has been around since 2017, well before Avengers Campus. Today it's the main thrill ride of the land, but Imagineers added a little extra touch around the attraction to tie it into the story. Now if you walk around the perimeter of the Collector's Fortress, you'll see what looks like multicolor slime on the ground. This was a new detail added when Avengers Campus opened. It's everywhere, and it's an easy easter egg to miss since it's actually a reference to Marvel comic books and not the Marvel films. So this stuff on the ground is what's known as Kirby Crackle. It was developed by Marvel comic book artist Jack Kirby. He would draw clusters of dots to represent the energy of cosmic events or disruptions. So why is there Kirby Crackle around Mission Breakout? Well, the Collector naturally wanted to be a part of the campus. So he picked up his fortress from out of the galaxy and placed it here on Earth against the edge of the land. Doing this caused the cosmic disruption to ooze from the ground. It's a really clever detail. 
And although some of these clusters of dots may look like hidden Mickeys, the Imagineer responsible for the Kirby Crackle says none of them were actually intentional. But there are a few. Number 3 Over at Pim Test Kitchen, Pim particles are at work everywhere. As you make your way to the condiment station, you'll see the labels on the giant ketchup and mustard bottles say Bountiful Valley Farm, established in 2001. Well, 2001 references Disney California Adventure's opening year, and the brand name is actually a reference to a now extinct area of the park. It was called Bountiful Valley Farm. Beginning opening day, it was found right here across from its tough to be a bug. And now today this area is home to Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. If you look at the map of Stark Industries in the land, you'll see the spaces listed as the Scrapyard, which I think is really clever. Bountiful Valley Farm used to be part of a bug's land, and then once Disney started construction on Cars Land, they closed the area in September of 2010. So Bountiful Valley Farm may be an area of the past, but these condiment bottles act as a tribute, and they even use the exact same logo. Number 2 The oversized theming of Pim Tess Kitchen is really fun. Around the same area as the condiment station, you can find the soda station. Here we have some giant soda cans with plastic tubes coming out of them. They're all being held up by a bread clip. It says 06 APR, which stands for April 6th. Since the restaurant is themed to Ant-Man and the Wasp, April 6th is actually Paul Rudd's birthday. He plays Ant-Man. Then on the other end of the restaurant at the second soda station, that bread clip says August 3rd. And this is the birthday of Evangeline Lilly, who plays the Wasp. Number 1 While you're on Web Slingers A Spider-Man Adventure, there's another hidden reference that pays tribute to the candy corn-eating caterpillar Heimlich. He's actually on the ride. Well, a part of him is. As your Web Slinger vehicle is leaving the load station, keep an eye out for this before the first screen. That red bulky object with wheels is actually the chassis from one of the Heimlich trains. It's a little blurry, but you can make out that it says Heimlich. The inner mechanics of this ride vehicle fit the whole inventor theme, and it was a perfect little tribute. Now, in order to catch this piece of Heimlich, you need to be in either row 1 or 3. If you're in row 2 or 4, then you'll miss it. Even when you are in the correct row, though, it is easy to miss with it being so dark. But at least we know a piece of Heimlich's choo-choo train still lives on at Disney California Adventure. So have you visited Avengers Campus? What's your favorite Easter egg or secret? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.